All right, so in this video, we're gonna look at filter hotkeys, which is the way that you can toggle on and off filters for any scene or source inside of OBS. Let's take a look. Really quickly, guys, wanna remind everybody once again, you can download the OBS Super User Guidebook in the links below. This is available on Amazon if you'd like to have a paperback copy by your desk. And don't forget to like this video if you'd like to see more videos like this. It helps us figure out what you guys like. If we're doing anything wrong, let us know in the comments below because you know I would be happy to answer questions or take feedback. And then of course, hit the red subscribe button. It really helps us grow this channel. Only about 10% of our viewers are subscribed and we'd love to have you on board. All right, so let's take a look at filter hotkeys. These are hotkeys that you can use to toggle on the visibility of any filter. They're not quite a plugin, it's more of a script actually. So let's see how it works. When you go to download it, it is literally you're downloading the source code for a script. So this is the first time we've done this in this course. Essentially, you need to copy and paste these filters into the scripts area. And there's a little readme file that will explain how it works, but I'm gonna show you right now. So you can copy those scripts and you go up into tools inside of OBS and you go to scripts and you hit the plus button. And what I did honestly is I just copy and pasted them right into here. I just right clicked and hit paste. I've already done that. You can see there's an audio filter and a video filter. And what you do is you just, you just open it up. And once you've opened it, you can apply it as a filter and it shows up as a hotkey option. So there's a little note here that you have to think about. You'll see that there's a zero, one, two, and three options for this hotkey. Zero is disabling the filter, one is enabling, and two is toggling the visibility. So that's the one you really need. And then three allows you to hold it on and off. So let's take a look at our hotkeys. Now in this media source here, I have applied a LUT, which makes our video look a little crazy. It's just an example for this. And I've also added the filter hotkey video by upgrade Q. So that is a new filter you're gonna see here. It's called filter hotkeys by upgrade Q. Once you add that to your source or your scene, you will see some new hotkey options available inside of OBS. So right at the bottom here, we're gonna see media source. That's the source that I have it added to. I should have maybe chose a a better name. Apply. Remember that that first one is to disable. The second one is to turn it off. Third one toggles it on and off and four is hold. So I just did one, two, three, and four on my keyboard so we can test this out. Let's go ahead and click OK. And basically if I hit this three button, which is the toggle one, boom, I'm toggling it on and off. It's that simple, but it's actually super powerful because so many great filters can do amazing things like enable replay or start and stop a recording on your ISO recording. So as we start learning about more and more plugins that add unique filters, being able to toggle off and on the status or the visibility of that plugin is really important. So we're, this is gonna come back more and more as we discuss more advanced plugins in our book. So we've talked about so many great filters and then plugins that add filters into OBS. Filter hotkeys is pretty cool. It's a little funny to use, so obviously we had to work through that, but once you get the hang of it and you get it set up in your Elgato Stream Deck or on your keyboard, you set up those hotkeys, it works perfectly. So in our next video, we're gonna be kicking on control, looking at PTZ camera controls next. See you soon.